Well, the man accused of a deadly shooting rampage inside a Maryland newsroom appearing in court today. Police say the shooter opened fire on the staff of the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis, killing five people and injuring two. ABC's Kenneth Moten has the latest from the scene. Overnight, police in Maryland searched the home of the suspected gunman in what appears to be the deadliest attack on journalists in the U.S. in years. This was a targeted attack on the Capitol Gazette. Shots fired at the Annapolis, Maryland newspaper yesterday afternoon. Investigators say the suspect, 38-year-old Joe Ramos. Guy was holding what looked like a big shotgun, pointing the gun deeper into the office like he was uh, targeting people. Inside, five people killed, another two injured. Employees scrambled for cover. Others hid from the shooter. The paper's crime reporter Phil Davis tweeting, there is nothing more terrifying than hearing multiple people get shot while you're under your desk and then hear the gunman reload. The retired editor of the paper says the suspect had a history of social media threats against him and the paper for reporting on his guilty plea to stalking his ex-girlfriend in 2011. He kept track of both the reporter uh, and I. He knew we had left. So I... I Doubt that he was looking for me when he came in that door, but he was certainly looking to retaliate. The Gazette's sister paper, the Baltimore Sun, wrote tributes to the victims. Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters. This morning, their newspaper's front cover. The Capitol Gazette refusing to let the tragedy stop it from covering the story. Sources say the suspect hasn't been cooperating and had to be ID using facial recognition. We know years ago the Capitol Gazette reported his alleged threats to police. The suspect also filed a defamation lawsuit against the newspaper in 2012 and lost. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Annapolis.